Yo, what's poppin', peeps? Happy Friday. T-Money, sitting down for the first time all day. It's been a long week. I'm feeling weak. My bones are just ready to collapse this weekend and just do absolutely nothing. But, gotta do a video for you guys because today happens to be a special day. I was not following the tracking, but I did order. So I vowed to order a gigantic order from Kino Lorber because last time I had their sale I kind of slept on it I ordered a bunch of stuff it was too late and so um, I just vowed to catch the next sale and make it a good one so that's exactly what I did I've got 12 titles here from Kino Lorber 10 of them are from the sale the other two are from a couple other packages I got in today I actually got a package from Jesse at Diabolic um, Mike at Grindhouse Video Tampa and Zavi of all places, as well as a huge package from Kino Lorber. So I've opened everything up just for time's sake. I think it'll be a lot easier uh, just to breeze through them while they're open rather than take up 20 minutes. I just not feeling it tonight, guys. Tired. Um, but let's get right into the update. We'll start off with the package that I received from uh, Jesse at Diabolic. I'm just kind of have them all in an order here, so it's no particular order, but. Uh, what's on top so um but i will separate separate them by packages so first up i got uh children of dracula um interesting i haven't seen it but it's a documentary about people who actually think that they're vampires so this has kind of been circulating for a while now i don't even really i must have maybe i pre-ordered this or something i don't know i, I ordered it from diabolic i don't remember ordering it but i obviously did i remember seeing it multiple times by and talked about by multiple different people but um, sounds interesting. We'll check it out. Um, Fiora. This is from 2015. I've never seen this movie either. Sounds really kind of good. Um, I don't know. It's about this these adventurers or people, this um, crew. They go out into the forest and they're attacked by this natural disaster type thing. Some sort of like germ or something. Um, an, exped an expedition of I Ivy League botanists enter an uncharted forest on the North American frontier. Tasked to study the native flora. Uh, sorry, I said flora. Flora. Uh, the students er unearth a deadly organism. And soon they have to fight with nature itself to survive. So, sounds good, I guess, flora. Kind of a different, I guess, um, what do you call it? It's a natural disaster horror film. That's not right, but... Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Um, and then the last thing, I got two other things from Diabolic. Uh, really excited for this one. I've been really intrigued by the artwork on this cover ever since I first saw it. Um, and, and actually, I don't recall seeing this. It looks like it totally, and, and the whole MVD throwback feel, it would be a VHS I would have recognized, but I didn't. And when I saw this for the first time a few months ago when uh, they announced this release, I was I've, ever since then, I've just been really intrigued. I love... Um, anything Bram Stoker. I mean, the fact that it's kind of a demonic possession movie, I think, kind of like meets like end of days style film. Uh, it sounds good to me. And yes, anything from, you know, Bram Stoker, Matt, the mind of Bram Stoker, it's got to be awesome. This is really nice. It's number 10 in the uh, MVD um, collection, rewind collection. Um, let's see what you get. I didn't even open it, but you do get reversible cover artwork. You get a poster. Uh, this looks like the original theatrical artwork, maybe. It's pretty lame. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. Either one could be. If you guys know, let me know. But you do get the option of displaying this uh, cover artwork. It goes good with the... Uh, what am I saying? This or this. I'm just going to go with both. Because I really love this artwork, though. It's really cool. Um, let me know, though. Was this the original theatrical poster artwork? Or was this? Or were both of them? Um, usually there's a newly commissioned and an original artwork option, but they both look kind of vintage, if you ask me. So, this film is from 1998, so good. Late 90s demon film, awesome. All right, uh, last up, um, you know what? I'll keep all the kinos together separately, and I'll just let you know when they came from. Because there's a diabolic kino, and there's a grindhouse kino, but they're all, then there's 10 kinos that I ordered, so I have 12 kinos. Um, this one I ordered from, um, 
yeah, so that was it for Jesse, other than one Kino. This is from Grindhouse Video Tampa, Atroz. Now, I know the director of this movie. For the life of me, I can't remember what film he directed, but I really liked one of his films. I remember, you know, hearing about this film, coming first and being good. Never seeing it, but uh, finally pulled the trigger on it. Ruggiero Diodato presents it. Um, and again, it's Le Lex Ortega. He definitely did a film that I like. Um, sounds just kind of crazy, like a gore fest type movie. Um, about serial killers, I guess, and the psyche of murderers, but cool. Now we get into, let's get into the Kino stuff. Uh, this one I got as well from Grindhouse Video Tampa, Impulse. Uh, it's a 90s or an 80s or a, yeah, 1984, early 80s, uh, kind of like a suspense thriller type film starring Meg Tilly. Uh, it sounded pretty interesting though, suspenseful psychological thriller. So if you're into those... Uh, it's from a prime time, the early 80s. Then I grabbed this one, Straight to Hell. This is from Diabolic DVD. This movie, uh, I don't even really know much about. It's from 1987, 2K restoration of the film. Alex Cox, director of Repo Man. Awesome. 1987 cult classic. Four hopeless bank robbers bury their loot in an attempt to hide out in a deserted desert town, but soon find out that the town is, total, is really not deserted. Um, so cool. Sounds good. Sounds pretty cool. Straight to hell. And it is uh, filmed by Alex Cox, 1987, year after I was born. This one, okay, so this one I grabbed from the Kino sale. Now, all this stuff, with the exception, I think, of one title is from the Kino sale. There's, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm wrong. These are all from the Kino sale. So, there are two titles in this lot from the Kino sale that were actually not cheap. This one was one of them. It's around 14 bucks. There wasn't really much of a discount on it, but... <clears throat> And I'm bummed because last Kino sale, this was definitely like $8.99, and that was the one I missed out on. So, um, But yeah, I've never seen this movie. Christopher Lloyd, supposedly hilarious camp comedy, so I had to grab it. Uh, had been meaning to. A lot of people had talked about it. 1994, prime time. Uh, then this one, Avenging Force, sounds awesome, starring Michael Dudikoff. Just like in, I think, like an 80s. Uh, 1986 action um Action flick. Uh, terrorists in, you know, um, a dude fighting crime, Michael Dudikoff. Sorry about the blur. But, yeah, it sounds really good. It takes place in, like, the Louisiana swamps, I think, which is awesome. Sounds good. Uh, <clears throat> Barquero. Never seen this movie either. A group of Mexican bandits led by the great Warren Oates head for the town of Lonely Dell in order to cross the Paria River. Uh, leaving a trail of death and destruction along the way, they arrive at Lonely Dell not expecting any resistance from the town's citizens. After decimating the local town, the gang of bandits demand the bargeman Travis transport the crooks and their booty across the river. But they get more than they bargained for when Travis turns the table on the vicious gang. So, sounds awesome. From 1970. I've heard good things about the film. Lee Van Cleef, Western. Uh, we Revenge Western. It's gotta be awesome. Did I just make that up, subgenre? I think I did. Revenge Western, is that a term? The next two films, FX. This one was not on sale. This was a lot. I think this is the most expensive movie in the lot. Uh, for whatever reason, it was not on sale. I'm sorry, FX. FX2 was on sale. FX was not. Uh, had been wanting to grab these movies for a while. Hadn't seen them. Action flicks, I think, from the 80s and early 90s. Uh, Murder by Illusion. The world of movie make believe meets the gritty New York crime scene in this taut and clever suspense movie. So, yeah. Awesome. Suspense thrillers from the 90s and 80s. Awesome stuff. These movies have been talked about and kind of, you know, aware of their um, existence for a while now. Finally pulled the trigger on them. Unfortunately, I didn't get FX for cheap. This next movie I've had my eyes on for like the last four Kino sales and I never swooped it up. But I finally decided to. Love the cover artwork there. Uh, kind of like a, I think, suspense thriller type movie starring Jaws, Roy Jaws' own Roy Schneider. Uh, twisting tale of murder and mystery. Um, yeah, sounds really good, actually. Based on the novel of 13th Man. Stellar cast includes Christopher Walken, John Glover, Charles Napier, or Na Napier, Napier, I don't know. I don't know him. Um, but, yeah, awesome. Government agent haunted by the violent death of his wife begins to lose everything dear to him. His colleagues and boss have turned against him. He's lost his apartment to a brainy anthropologist and a psychopath starts sending him death threats. Harry hires a private investigator to help him find the identity of the stalker and unravel the intricate puzzle, but it only leads to more questions as the killer gets closer and closer. 
Sounds like a guy who's down on his luck. Really, really, really down on his luck. <laughs> Last Embrace. Cool. It's from 1979. Yeah, I had my eyes on that cover for a while. I've never seen this movie. Love the remake with Denzel. Uh, Man on Fire. I guess this is the original starring Danny Aiello and Joe Pesci. Awesome. Really cool. Uh, never seen it. Excited for it. Like I said, I love the... I think it's the remake or whatever. This one's from 1987, Man on Fire. Another cool action movie. Uh, this one, I think, is a spaghetti western. A Reason to Live, A Reason to Die. Starring James Coburn, Telly Savalas, and Bud Spencer. From 1972. Uh, it says it's this top-notch western set during the Civil War where eight condemned Union prisoners attempt to escape Missouri Fort from Confederate soldiers. Cool. Love that cover artwork too. I don't know why. It's not that cool, but I Yeah, cover artwork by I don't know. I love Westerns too. Those the Kino Lorber Westerns, they have the best covers, I think. They're awesome. They're just so catchy. Uh, and next up we have 10 Seconds to Hell. This movie actually totally caught me off guard. When I first saw it, I was like, cool. Is this like a black and white horror flick, you know, from the um, the Jack the Ripper era? I don't know. It's a cool cover. But it turns out it's totally not. It's a World War II classic starring Jack Palance. Um, and basically, he's a demolition expert, returns to Berlin. Um, shit goes down. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, apparently like the bomb sequences in this movie are top notch. I don't know. It's black and white from 1959, 10 seconds to hell directed by Robert Aldrich. Awesome cast as well. So you guys have seen that one. Let me know. And certainly not last but not least is actually a movie. Believe it or not, guys, I've never seen it before, but we have Jackie Chan's police story and police story Two. Don't ask me why I purchased this from Zavi. I don't know. Usually when I buy stuff from Zavi, it's like exclusive steel books and stuff like that only. Uh, but I did, pre-ordered it, came. I, I think feel like people have already discussed this and had it. I don't know how long it's been out. But uh, I've never seen these movies, but caught my attention reading that Jackie Chan apparently claims that this is like the best action sequences of his career in Police Story. So, I mean, it sounds cool. He sounds like a badass t playing his typical, you know, badass Asian cop fighting um, uh, gang lords or whatever. Uh, I, I, Escalating, um, what am I saying? Uh, Chan stars a super cop up against a notorious crime lord. Yeah, so, I mean, very, you know, stereotypical Jackie Chan action, but apparently it's the best of, so stoked for that. Really nice set. Reminds me of something Arrow would put out. Uh, Eureka, hard box. You got the hard box, J-card, two-disc, reversible cover artwork, chock full of special features. All these companies are basically the same now, but that's okay because they're all putting out equally high quality stuff of equally high quality. I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, guys, that's it. Man, I feel like I got that done fast. That was a lot of stuff, but um, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to eat some dinner and chillax. So have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching as, as usual. It's been a crazy week. Uh, I've had a lot of titles come in. Now it's time to watch some movies and go ghost. So I'll catch you guys later. Have a great weekend. Peace. Talk to you probably on Monday, maybe. We'll see. Catch you next week. Peace.